around. People need to get to know the people that you're telling a story about. Who are they? What are they like? What can they do? Whenever I watch films, I always take some notes. I've never shared them with anyone because they've never really been sort of fully encompassing or they've never been complete, but I think they're quite valuable. I'm going to go over the notes that I took while watching Star Wars the other day. So here's some different ways you can introduce characters. And, and these are story relevant, by the way. So what skills do they have or what skills are they learning? Another characteristic that you can introduce is, are they the sort to take initiative or are they the sort to take a step back and not do anything? Because that's quite important. Are they a leader? Um, do they go out and do what needs to be done? Like when there's a problem, do they step back? Do they turn their head or do they kind of face it or do they go and deal with it? Something that was also quite relevant is their morals. So what sort of morals do they have? A hero might save someone or they might be nice to someone. They might be giving or empathetic or even just recognise someone who is in need or in pain, for example, just to recognise it when no one else does. Showing that they have good morals, you know, that's what the whole save the cat was referring to. A person who has good morals, they save the cat, they do something nice. You know, Aladdin, uh, when he gives that bread to the person at the start of the story. You know, but not everyone's got good morals. Not everyone needs to save the cat. Sometimes they'll just choke them, <laughs> kick them out the window. And the last thing that you can introduce is their self-confidence. You know, are they a bit egotistical? Do they think a lot of themselves or are they very humble? Do they think quite poorly of themselves or more so in the case where you have low self-confidence? It's not that you think poorly of yourself. It's that you're just certain that everyone else thinks poorly of you. That's you know, beside the point. You know, lastly, in relation to the hero's journey story, which is just a type of story, when you're telling a story about someone who is the one, they're the one to do what others can't. That's the hero's journey. They're the one who are going to save the tribe. They're the one who are going to do what everyone else can't do. They're going to brave it out. They're going to go into battle and they're going to solve the problem. Usually, you know, I was talking about, do they take initiative? A person who is involved in the hero's journey sort of story, they may take initiative or they may not. It's, you know, it's quite interesting. You know, maybe they need to be woken up from their slumber like Neo in the Matrix. Or maybe they are the sort of person who's already ready to take initiative. That, well, that was the top half of these notes. <laughs> so, And I've got about four pages here, so I'm going to crack on with some more videos. I'm Joe Webb, a storyteller, the storyteller. See you next time.